Dear viewer, Assalamu alaikum. I am Engineer Muhammad Reza Unhaq. Welcome to my Automation Tools YouTube channel. We know in industrial system, different types and different branded control valves are using to control the process system. Fisher actuator control valve is most usable of them. Different types of problems are happened in Fisher control valve. Today, I will discuss about the maintenance procedure of Fisher actuator control valves that problems are happening in control valves. So, dear viewer, let's start. Viewer, this is the Fisher actuated control valve. You see, this is Fisher actuator. Different types of parameters are written in this template. This parameter we need to calibration or setting, pressure setting, travel setting, all the parameters we need that are written in this template. You see, all parameters are written properly. This parameter or model number we need to calibrate the actuator. So, I am showing you this one. My notice is this one, or you can write down this one. But when we want to calibrate this control bar, we this type of we need this data. So, we have to be notice this uh, nameplate data is carefully. You see, it is the travel of this uh, actuator, that means the traveling range size, the travel range is 3.4 inch. It is the travel range from 0 to 100 percent, and here you see the pressure. PSI, maximum pressure, actually the maximum pressure is 75 PSI. It is the positional, field view positional that is used to control this a, a Fisher actuator. It is the positional that is used. Here the, this actuator is a, it is the actuator nameplate. It is the model number, it is a DCB6200. It is the actuator model number. It is the model number that means that, that if you want to focus this one, then you need this one. It is the regulator. It is the regulator that is you see the maximum supply pressure is 250 psi and the pressure is also seen here it is the network data that is need to do for QD. if you want to do this one we need to this data to uh, we have the some warning so first we see we think it is this valve is making a problem we cannot uh, uh, open the valve so we have to what we have to do first firstly we have to check the air pressure that is the supply air pressure is see actually is accurate with this uh, nameplate data or not. If we found that the supply pressure is accurate, but it is done not taking command from the DCS. So, first we have to be open the terminal box, then we remove the DCS connection. Here we connect the fluke. Fluke that means the 4 to 20 milliampere generator or one of the field communicator that is used to uh, Calibrate the cotton valve or checking the cotton valve that is here, that is the 4 to 20 milliampere generator. We use this one and check this uh, cotton valve is work properly or not, it is working by, by the uh, supply voltage, so that is the supply milliampere. So, it is the dark model. You see, we have to be use this uh, milliampere source, that is milliampere source and thus 24 volt. We, we, we select this one. We select this one and press that is the 4 to 20 milliampere generator. Different model of generator is used in industrial system. So, we select this one, press F2 button. And then also, we have to be press this F2 bus again. That is left side you see on the curve is showing. If you see that the curve is showing, then it is active and it can work. It can supply the 4 to 20 milliampere to the actuator to operate. So, if we first we Press 8 milliampere, you see our actuator is moving. You see, it is the fail to open valve, so it is closing by giving the milliampere here to close. So we supply here and it is closing. But you see, it is working properly. Then, if we see that it is not work properly, then we use the hard communicator that is a, another of the field calibration instrument. It hard communicator is um, uh, 475. We want to connect this one. We try to use this one that it is supported or not. Some the field view 
position of does not support this same hard 475 so i am trying to change this one we want to take some uh, calculation that is what is opening closing by uh, our uh, 420 milliampere generator but uh, it is a uh, not actual we have to be need calibrate this one how that is the it is in opening and closing but it is not accurate so we want to calibrate this one so first we try to go to online the hard communicator it is correct or not we try to so see press the enter button that is kind of communicate with the positioner or not you see press yes button then you see no valid items press ok that means the this uh, positioner dd file does not support it with the hard field view instrument field view instrument maximum field view instrument does not support with the hard communicator for uh, 475 so we have to use the another communicator that can uh, support with this uh, field view position transmitter so we open this one and uh, Another also, uh, here is also another thing that if your terminal goes with the tracks, with the tracks field communicator, that uh, AMS tracks field communicator that is used to calibrate also also the supply power supply with both this one. If you use this one, we need to supply, uh, no need to another extra supply. Here is the hard plus power terminal. If we use hard plus power terminal, then we no need to extra supply to the positioner to connect this uh, terminal. So, you see it is hard plus power terminal, we connect this one. Another thing is that uh, you feel the position of terminal, it is uh, ok or not ok, we can also check this one. If we connect this uh, field communicator, that means the photo generator power, if, if it is show the open position, you see, if the terminal is damaged, you see, then it will be show in the, uh, you see, in the open loop, open loop, that means that it is, we connect the wire, two wire, but it is not showing, it is showing the open loop, then we have to be think that the, uh, our, uh, uh, power terminal of this position is damaged. So, it is the another things. Now, we connect the Trex ASM Trex field communicator that to, and use the hard plus power terminal to calibrate this control valve because our valve is opening and closing properly, uh, the closing but not it is uh, actual the uh, 100. So, we using this one Trex transmitter inversion. ASM tracks transmitter, we open the power on the transmitter, then uh, I show you step by step how can we calibrate this one by using this ASM tracks transmitter. So, first we have checked that the, our uh, power supply is okay or not okay, then you see that terminal is okay or not okay, then we supply a field communicator uh, to supply the photo 20 milliampere that uh, the valve is opening or closing, in the three step I always uh, discuss with you, we see that the our uh, valve is opening but not accurate, so we are using to cal we want to calibrate this one. So we connect the text field communicator, press the field communicator, then it is a uh, connect with this positioner. Then we calibrate this uh, transmitter by putting the nameplate data. You see, it is a uh, no communicator yet not committed for the hard. You see, want to supply power supply from this text, so press the yes button. Then it is showing its hospital operation, it is positional. So we select the positional. No combination is shown. Here it should be a hard detected, you see. Voltage provided from hard plus power terminal. And it is also seen hard detected. That means that this Trex communicator is seen properly connected with this field view positional. But before we try to communicate with the hard 475 communicator, but it is failed. That means that this field view instrument does not support the hard for 75. It is used to Trex communicator to calibrate this uh, control valve. So, device status, it is a device status. You can see the present status. It is a device maintenance mode. So, it is the OK. Then you can see the, you see, maintenance mode is showing in LR that supply pressure is low. That means our supply pressure is low. So, we have to be increase the supply pressure. Another is you had you see all the input is also the device is also the LR of input is 3.94 milliampere set point is a base of travel is 99 per part that means it is a fail to open that means that you have to close valve so it is showing the 99.5 percent traveling now we press the configuration mode and go to the guidance setup because we want to calibrate this one so device setup then we have to be put the data as per our nameplate. So see, 
it is loading the setup mode you see in service now out of go to out of service so please out of service first you have to be also when you want to calibrate this or must be in out of service and the valve will be the normal uh, that means that it go to the out of service means the process is not controlling by using this valve one so when the process is shut down you can use this one then the features in which you see psi in the nameplate i show it is psi so i select psi then it is the relay type relay type is a or c or b you see it is relay type is a right side i am showing the relay type a also i open the cover and show you that it is the uh, actuator relay is a relay c so we have to be select relay c to calibrate this a uh, actuator or control valve there are the two we have two uh, pressure gauge that means the it is single acting so it is c and we have to be two pressure gauge if it double acting that means they have three pressure gauge so the two pressure gauge is the double acting it is the double acting so we have to relay c so relay to relay to the travel control the pressure control it is travel control so we select the travel control and press the ok button then it is show the maximum supply pressure is 45 uh, our nameplate is showing that 40 0 to 40 psi so we select the 40 psi we put the 40 psi value so we must all of the data we have to input as per of the nameplate data of this actuator so it is the 40 psi that is okay this fissure control valve is what types of actuator is fissure control so we select the fissure in the nameplate data you see fissure i mentioned you so we select fissure and uh, select this fissure control valve then press the ok button and then it is the actual model number you see 657 actual type type is type is 657 uh, you see so we select this one and uh, press the ok button then it is the actual size 40i you see in the nameplate data you can see you see here the size is 40i so we select this one it is already taking the data on its so the, already it, all the data are taken from the monitor if it is not accurate then you can select them if yes default for a setup yes you can press yes button then you press the ok then the or the default you see press the ok then the all the setting data are going to the actuator the, we have to change this one it is sending to the device setup has completed so press ok button then to finish the setting up valve run the table yes ok to modify response use stabilizer optimize yes press ok press the ok button then press the out of service because we want to calibrate this one press the out of service and then the auto calibration press an auto calibration then the calibration uh, mode will be open calibration option will open you see please Wait, that means the calibration is uh, running. You see, continue. Warning, you see, calibration will show you warning. Press the OK, please wait. You see, standard calibration is going on. You see, calibration is process checking high drop. You see, right hand side corner as I show the high drop is already completed. You see, it is the taking some time the high drop is completed. Then it taking the load, it is the high drop is up to left, that means that you uh, fail to open valve, so it is the low, low, low drive, you see, load up is 0 to 100, it is the open valve, so it is the high drop is 100 to 0, and load drop is 0 to 100, it is showing that load drop is completed, now it see, you see calibration progress, adjusting output bias, you see, in the our right side corner, in the picture, you, know, you can also see, that the our uh, valve is adjusting the pressure auto calibration process is going on so you can see output adjusting step by step it is a you see travel control calibration is completed now it is entering the pressure control calibration one two types of calibration is happening is in the Actually, uh, one is travel control, pressure control, travel control is complete now, pressure control is in frame, uh, uh, calibration is going on, you see, going to slowly off, you see, 
right side corner I am showing the video that's are the happening in the actuator and the left side it is showing the target is 99.85 percent you see already it's going to 100 percent you see go to 100 percent and uh, it will be taking some time if the all the parameter is set accurately then the automatic calibration will be completed no need to be thinking about the other you see auto travel calibration is completed that means the auto calibration is completed now we try to, to modify the recipe is okay we have to put in service so we select in service and press okay now we want to check that our calibration is completed or not so we want to check this a control valve by supply 4 to 20 million here it is a control valve you see now it is a fail to open position that means the valve is in open position now we go to the loop that on the loop caliber uh, sorry we want to check this one so we press the loop diagnostic and here we want to supply the checks in part part one because we want to check now check this valve is working is properly or not we have already completed so we uh, power supply position of 4 milliampere then the power supply is go to 4 milliampere uh, power supply is 4 to 20 milliampere and uh, power supply to the actuator is it now 4 milliampere now in the right side corner you see it is 8 million pair and you see our actuator is down you see down 12 million pair also down 60 million pair is also closing you see and 20 million pair is 100 percent close that means that it is the year to close valve so again i go to off you see 60 million pair you see actuator is opening 12 million pair you see Actually, is opening 20, uh, 0, opening. That means that our calibration is uh, completed and valve is working very smoothly. So, we want to exit this part. So, dear friend, I try to show you the, how can we maintain a piece of control actuator valve. If you think it is very helpful to you, please subscribe my channel. Also, like, comment, and share. That's other people can uh, learn about this one. So, dear friend, no more today. Assalamu alaikum. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Also like, comments and share. Thanks for watching.